CASA stands for Committee for Anglophone Social Action. We've existed since 1975. CASA's mandate is to work throughout the Gaspe region to help improve services and programs for English-speaking Gaspesians. Our mandate is from Mattapedia to the town of Gaspe. Under CASA's strategic plan, we have four pillars on, of which we work under. Health and social services, youth, community development and mobilization, and culture and heritage. CASA has a dedicated team that works under each of those pillars to implement programs for our community. I work um, with partners along the coast of the Gaspé Z to um, promote Anglophone services for children 0 to 8 and their families. Today's activity is the Children's Carnival. It is an annual event. It takes place in a few communities along our region. It brings together uh, families in the region with children 0 to 8 or above. And we get together, they work on their gross motor skills, they work on their fine motor skills, and it's just a way to break isolation, have a good time, and just bring people together. We work on literacy. We do parent cafes, which are tailored at workshops just for parents. We have a childcare provided for them. We have carnivals. We go into the schools. We do specific uh, activities with pre-K and K classes. The program that I attend often with, um, well, with my oldest, is Wiggle and Rhyme. It's um, for zero to five-year-olds. It's just something fun to get out and do with the kids. Um, we always attend the parent cafes at the schools. The kids really like that and they, they ask, oh, when's the next one and what are we doing? Learn how to share, how to play. Uh, it's, it's great to just get out and enjoy a day with our family. Our main targets are seniors, aged from 50 to 100, but we never refuse anyone. Oh, we do a lot of uh, brain games and cognitive uh, activities, and we do some physical exercises that involve balance and coordination, and they do some socializing. They have lunch with us usually, so this would be one something once or twice a month that they could look forward to. In total, we serve 175 seniors across the coast. Uh, we have nine centers from Matapedia to Chandler. The biggest goal is to keep them healthy as long as possible so that they can remain in their homes. It gives them a sense of belonging, maybe some happiness, <laughs> and uh, we get different presenters too, so maybe some knowledge at the same time. The puzzles in the morning, it makes your brain think and work. That's my favorite. And it's a good time for, uh, to socialize and to meet new people if they're new in the community. Like I've, I've been doing this for like over 10 years and it's a passion, so it's keeping me involved in the community and with people. They're funny and they're, they're really fun to be around. Today's event, uh, basically what we would like to do is bring together the English people from the coast uh, to try to determine what makes them unique because we'd like to take that, somehow turn that into a, a concrete, marketable project, product and sell it to the rest of the world and bring people here to experience the English culture of the Gaspésie. Projet Rural is connected to a lot of the different organizations and tourism industry around the coast. CASA is as well, but by bringing us together, we've been able to bring them closer to certain organizations specific to the tourism industry, like the Regional Tourism Association, which represents 750 plus members in the tourism sector around the coast. That's put CASA sort of in their kitchen and given them a chance to work together. So the evolution of the tourism industry I see in 10 years, the collaboration between the English-speaking community and the French-speaking community is equal, it's uh, in sync with each other. They come to Quebec, come to the Gaspésie, and experience the French culture while you're here, experience the English culture while you're here, and just be comfortable. That's what's going to help and boost the industry here on the coast. CASA has always had youth programming in its mission for the last 45 years. It's only in 2011 that we moved from project-based to program-based, and we did that with the help of 12 funders, regionally, locally, and provincially. The youth in the Gaspé Z are used to our service as compass. We've decided to expand and add more services to our menu or portfolio. So we created a rebranding called RISE, which is Regional Individual Employment Services and Support. That program uh, will also be used by our partners within the province. CASA offers employability services in the youth program, such as CV writing, mock interviews, job search, sense of belonging services, recruitment to youth back into the region. We offer employability programs, which integrates or reintegrates youth back into the workplace. 
main service that I offer is a program called Group 9. It's available to people who are in social assistance, who are between the ages of 18 and 29, who are having difficulty in any aspect of their life. We assess them and together we make individual plans and we combat the barriers that they need to be successful members of society and to reach their goals. We run a process of 26 weeks. We do this in partnership with the CGR and Bonaventure and through Emploi Quebec. During this program, we also do group activities every two weeks as a unit and they have to do volunteer hours. Just making them realize that they can do it. I'm not doing it for them. Going home at the end of the day and knowing that, you know, he's going to be okay or she's going to be okay or... We also offer two bursary programs at CASA. One is in partnership with McGill, offering any students that are studying in the health field in or out of the region to apply. And we also have an in-house bursary for high school students that are planning to attend college or university. We strive for to offer all the services that are parallel to the Francophone services. And we also want our youth to return, live here, raise their family here, and be happy here. Le 6 a la responsabilité d'offrir des services de qualité au niveau de la santé pour tous les Gaspésiens et les Madelinos. Notre objectif, c'est d'améliorer les services à la population anglophone. Donc, notamment, ce matin, on a eu une rencontre qui identifiait les principaux enjeux pour la prochaine année, euh, entre autres les enjeux au niveau du développement social. CASA and the CIS La Gaspésie and its predecessor, l'Agence de santé, have a long relationship working to improve uh, services in both health and social services for the English community. We have a, a program that we recruit young Anglophones because we have a lot of difficulty getting bilingual people. We work with CASA as well for the Madeline Islands. Uh, we have a program with them that's where CASA, CAMI and Vision work to offer services for people who go outside of our region to, uh, to get health services mainly. We've worked with them, they put in place mentorships so that our, em our employees speak better English. We work very, very hard to serve the population in the language that they're comfortable in. And I think that's where it's important to have a partnership with CASA um, because they know the, the needs of the communities. The whole idea of the project of growing up in the Gaspé, Grandi en Gaspésie is so that we give the kids that are participating a chance to show everybody what it's like to be a teenager growing up on the Gaspésie in today's world as an English teenager, French teenager, or First Nations teenager. And as always, every session we have with the students, part of it's in English, part of it's in French. Today was about bringing an actual playwright in to visit the students. Well, the play is about how life was in the 70s with the three cultures, um, how they mix together. Then it gradually comes to 2020 and how it is today, and then how we want it to be like in the next few years. On bâtit à partir des quelques mots qu'on est capable d'échanger puis de partager. Tout le monde rit beaucoup, puis le rire est, il est pareil dans les trois langues. The first initiative that came under the arts and heritage sector was Art for Action, which I did three years ago, and that was all about bringing different art forms to people who don't have access to learning a new art form in English. Then last year we did Write on Gatsby, which was about bringing people that have a passion for writing to create a book. I am hoping that this play, as are the students who are in the play, that this will be the first step of many steps to bring the cultures closer together. If everybody's laughing out loud or everybody goes home with a smile, then it's great. Today we're celebrating uh, International Women's Day 2020. It was to bring together women of all generations, all ages, background, to celebrate us being a woman. We had approximately 148 participants from the town of Gatsby to Matapedia the CASA staff. They've worked very hard over the last month or so to bring this all together. Today was a really big event. It was part of the mental health and wellness uh, programming for 2020 uh, for CASA, sponsored by the CHSSN. And what it was, it was to really uh, help women to feel better about themselves and to see that we're not alone and that we need uh, to work with each other through conversation and connection. We had a lot of uh, speakers, we had song, because music is such an important part of being well as well. And then of course we had a bit of comedy, we had a skit by the Casa Girls. This past week was incredible uh, at work, how everybody was pitching in to make sure that it went well. 
I'm so amazed that 150 women have shown up for today's event. It encourages me immensely that they're thinking about women, they're thinking about mental health. The, the, the staff at CASA has done an amazing job at making everyone in the room feel like they are special. It's important to celebrate women and this day every year gives us the chance to do that. So we know that the demand is there, there's the need there of women to connect together again. I think once a year it's time that we get together and uh, just celebrate, like I said, just celebrate being us. The partnership between Vision and CASA is extremely important and it's been very beneficial, not only for each of our organizations, but also for the English-speaking community as a whole. It's essential to the well-being of the English-speaking community to have such an organization in place. They've become a model for many of us in other communities because although we have a lot of similarities, we do also have a lot of differences. So the idea is to take the regional vision and implement it within the commu local communities, adapting it to each of our realities. If you'd like to become more involved with CASA or know more about some of the programs that we offer, please call our office. On behalf of myself, the CASA Board of Directors and the entire CASA team, we thank you for being a part of our mission.